Good morning from Aberdeen folks. Now I have long wanted to make a video from this city but I wasn't quite sure what it was I was wanting to film. And then I saw this sticker in Stonehaven yesterday and it took me to the website of a coastal trail and I thought that's absolutely perfect. The sea has always been so important to Aberdeen. As have its rivers, I'm here in the banks of the River Don. And the coastal trail runs all the way down to Cove Harbour. Now I'm not sure I'm going to get that far today but let's just see how we get on. The good news is it's a beautiful morning. The bad news, my sidekick's working today, I'm afraid. Now, as some of you might know, I was brought up in Stonehaven, which is about 15 miles south of here. So as a kid, when you were coming into the big city, you might be going to Pataudry to watch the football. You might be going to Cadona's amusement park. So it's a part of the city that I certainly thought I used to know quite well. And it'll be interesting to see how it's changed. Some big slabs of granite here, and of course we're in the granite city. Aberdeen's made of that stuff. Right, we'll drop back down from this big wide boulevard down to the beach. You might not be able to see it on camera, but there's a helicopter passing overhead just now. And that'll be one of the many choppers that are ferrying people from Aberdeen Airport out to the oil rigs because of course Aberdeen is at the heart of the UK oil industry and it gives Aberdeen Airport that strange statistic of being one of the busiest airports in the UK. And it's down on this very beach that Alex Ferguson used to bring his Aberdeen players for unique training sessions that I'm sure they absolutely hated. But it gave them those big strong thighs. Right, that's us crossed under the road and we're making our way to Pataudry Stadium. Now rather than take you to the football stadium itself, we're going to go up to a hill which gives you a nice viewpoint right over the stadium. And I don't know if it's still the case, but back in the day, the buses used to park over on the boulevard and you'd walk over this hill and then you'd see the stadium before you and all the excitement would start to build. So there's Pataudry over there to the right, but we're going to begin up this hill. Again, totally inappropriate footwear, folks. <laughs> ah! So there we are folks, Pataudry Stadium, the home of Aberdeen Football Club. Now there's long been talk of Aberdeen building a new stadium and moving to an out of town location. And I've always thought that's quite sad because there's so much history happened here. Aberdeen dominated Scottish football back in the 1980s under Alex Ferguson. And they even won the European Cup Winners' Cup. I can always remember when you'd tune into Scottish football on the radio and you'd hear the game going on and you didn't know which game it was but then you'd hear the seagulls in the background and you instantly knew you were at Pataudry. <laughs> the stadium does look a bit weird these days. I can remember when they built the big Dick Donald stand. That used to be the beach end and it was basically just a shed but what an atmosphere that would create. Right, let's move on. Ah, the flumes. Who didn't love the flumes? But who can also remember all the urban myths that used to go about? About people putting nails and razor blades in the slides. Ouch! And here we are now passing the beach ballroom. I've always thought of this as such a beautiful, grand venue. But it seems that every venue I pass, I say the Beatles played here. Well, guess what, folks? The Beatles played here. Here we are, Cadona's. That's where every kid wanted to go, me included. Looking at it now, it's no Disney World, but to be fair, in summer, that big wheel looks really nice. Look at this guy, folks. He's got the beach as his canvas and a rake as his brush. How cool is that? Here I am just walking along the... And I've realised I don't know how to say it. Is it Esplanade or Esplanade? In the comments, please. Right, this is my favourite. Here we are arriving at Fitty. This is Aberdeen's 1800s fishing village. 
Now if you saw this on a map you might think it's called Foot D and it is at the foot of the D but in these parts they call it Fitty. I'm trying not to be too intrusive with my filming here because as much as this looks like a museum, these are people's houses. I'd love to live here. Okay, this wee wooden one in the corner, that's my favourite so far. Well, these must be the oldest fishing sheds. Beautiful. It's such a quiet wee place, apart from the seagulls of course, but I hope they get peace from tourists like me. Aye, so if you're in Aberdeen and you don't know about Fitty, get yourself down here for a wee stroll, you won't regret it. And as you leave quaint wee Fitty behind, you're right into the heart of one of the UK's busiest working harbours. These big industrial harbours tend to be quite closed off places so I don't think I'm going to get too near. But if you do want to see it, one of the best ways is to take the Northlink Ferry if you're going up to Orkney or Shetland and that leaves from the harbour. I'm sure the Neptune Bar's got a few stories to tell. I wish some of these wee takeaway vans were open. It's a Sunday though. I could fair go a bacon roll. In fact, talking about the North Link, I can see it just over here. As we make our way past Aberdeen Harbour, the next stop for us folks is going to be the Maritime Museum. It's another one of these places I've never been before. I've heard good things about it. Let's hope it's open. Well, good news and bad news. The good news is the Maritime Museum will be open. We're just too early. So the bad news, you're gonna to have to watch me eat breakfast. I'm sorry, but these are not pancakes. I've had to use all the syrup to try and disguise the flavor. The good thing about this museum is it's right on the harbour and that's only two minutes walk from Union Street and over the other way you've got Union Square which is like the big shopping mall that everyone goes to. Right, let's get inside. Yeah, we still have to wear masks. Ah, this is a fascinating free museum and look at these views. I really like this model of an oil rig, but to be honest with you, it terrifies me. It's kind of like icebergs, look how far down they go. Right, we've got the 3D glasses on now. So have a butterfly is really the best way to get here. So why is the term here in the first place? I thought it was going to say this is what diving suits used to look like, but it's saying here that this is typical of the equipment currently used in the North Sea. 
What I really like about this museum is that it's not just exhibits, there's lots of stories of life at sea. It's very interesting, but maybe not a life for me. Types of glove. Folks, I'm really sorry, but we've just run into a bit of a problem in that I've almost ran out of battery. I've got about 5% left. I was just changing my battery over in the museum and I was getting no life out of the new one at all. It's kind of weird though, because I'm sure I charged that up last night. But these things happen, I suppose. We did make it all the way to the River D because the D runs out into Aberdeen Harbour. So we can either call this video from dawn to D or we can return at some point and film part two where I'd continue along past the harbour, the lighthouse, the new harbour and all the way down to Cove Bay. If I do go with that and go for a part two, I just hope that we get a nice day like today again for continuity, if nothing else. So I really don't know what to say. I'm, I'm sorry, but I'll see you again soon. Bye. Thank you.